Hey all my comic friends out there, YouTubers, Walking Dead fans, welcome to another comic review and today we will be reviewing none other than The Walking Dead, issue number 99. That's right guys, we are only about 18 days away from, you guessed it, issue number 100. Uh, it is going to be a monumental event uh, in the comic world because not this is going to be an issue that everyone's going to try to get their hands on. It's not going to be just for the Walking Dead fans. It's going to be for all comic collectors. It's going to be for people that are trying to make money on eBay. It's going to be just crazy and trying to get a hold of all these covers and things like that. So if you haven't pre-ordered your covers yet, go ahead because there's a shitload of them. There's like 12 of them all together uh, if you can get them all. So uh, let's get ready for it, all right? Uh, but today we're talking about issue number 99 and issue number 99 is just a setup point for obviously issue number 100 and I think something bad is going to happen in the next issue um, but with that being said our story here is done by Robert Kirkman who's the obviously the genius writer of this this franchise Charlie Adler who does the um, the penciler that he's the penciler he's the anchor he's the cover senior grace is the editor cliff rathburn does the gray tones and the cover t cover colors and um again it's it's just been consistent since you know um Char charlie adler has taken the series over um with that being said we're just going to get started with it um in the last issue abraham was murdered in cold blood um by negan's people and uh um and they were at a standoff with these guys. Uh, Eugene survived by bite, biting this guy's Dwight's nuts off, basically, and uh, the people just retreated. And so now Rick was left without any words. He was basically lost. So with that being said, let's just get right to it right now, guys. Welcome. Um, great start here. Um, we can see that they're defending uh, the community. Um, basically, Heath and Glenn here, they're just fighting off some zombies. Nothing too much going on. That's about the extent of the action in this actual book um, here. The rest of it was a lot of story, but again, it's a good setup point. Um, Rick and Andrea um, are just discussing of what's going on. And, you know, Rick is just having a tough time dealing with everything. He just doesn't know what to do for the first time. He's trying to think, trying to decide what's going on. Abraham's dead. Um, and then he looks for Andrea for comfort. But you can see here in the background here, you know, Carl sees everything. And, you know, you can see this look on his face that he's just not happy about what's going on in the whole deal. Um, so with that being said, we move on and we move on to Glenn and Maggie. And then they have a discussion here um, of what's going on. And, um, you know, Sophia goes in the other room and, and Glenn's panicking. He's having a discussion with Maggie saying that he wants to leave. He wants to leave this community after all this time being with Rick. He wants to take Maggie and their unborn child and Sophia and they want to take it to the hilltop. And he's trying to convince her that the hilltop is a much better place to live. Um, here we see Eugene and Rosita. Um, they're basically having a conversation about Abraham, how nice of a guy he was, how he uh, he was married and he had kids, and you know, Rosita was doing fa favors for other men in the you know in the group earlier in the days just to get more protection. Uh, but she felt that uh, Abraham really loved her and that's why she was so sad about the whole thing but she really misses him and she really loves him and and through the loss you see Eugene and Rosita are just bonding here you know remembering the good times and how good of a friend that Abraham was 
Um, next we see the entire community. They go to the church and they're having the funeral here for Abraham. You can see here that he's in the casket and he's covered up. He did get mauled pretty bad by some zombies if I uh, may say so myself here. Um, the reason why Abraham has not come back as a zombie was because he did get shot through the eyeball and it apparently hit his brain so he is not resurrected back as a zombie uh, in case you guys missed the last issue um the, you know the group is all taking it really hard you know and we can see that the rick's taking it hard and uh, holly was taking it hard and uh rosita gives her condolences to um to holly you know rosita does and you know so there's some stuff going on and you know later after the funeral Aaron comes to Rick's attention and Aaron's just like you know what the community needs a meeting they feel unsafe they're not sure when Negan's attack is going to happen what's next you know let's 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 go to it you know um, so what happens is they the group gets into a meeting and Rick decides that they are going to go to the hilltop and try to get some more muscle Abraham was their strong man. Um, they still have Michonne, they have Andrea, but you know, Abraham was that tough guy, that go-to guy, sidekick type of guy for Rick, and he's not there anymore. So Rick feels that he has to go to the hilltop now, and he has to find somebody before the uh, Negan's attacks happen. Um, also, in that process Glenn has a talk with Rick and he's saying that he's gonna leave the community and you can see Rick's face he's like what he's like what are you talking about he's just like it just is safer for me and my wife and my family and you can see Glenn is just like I'm sorry I don't blame him you know he's just trying to protect his family um, later on in the issue um, there was a conversation between Rick and Carl here. Um, the conversation is about him and um, his father. So Rick and his father, or Rick and uh, Carl were having this discussion about how there's no good night and there's no have a nice day because that's just not how things are turning out. And Rick says, "You well, you know what, son? Things are not always permanent. Things will be changing, you know. Um, and then Carl makes a statement saying, you know what, Dad? He's like, I don't want to hide in the van anymore. He's like, I'm strong. I know how to use a gun. I want to be with you. And Rick is like, okay, son. So we can see that, you know, Carl is growing up and, and he wants to be side by side with his dad at the hilltop. Um, we can see that Holly comes up to Michonne and while well, you know Michonne's watching post and she's just wanting to mourn some more over Abraham's death and she visits visits the gravesite. Um, here we see the nice relationship going on between Andrea and Rick and they're just discussing how Andrea should move in with Rick. Um, she's staying you know two nights in a row here at Rick's house and they're having this nice conversation but they feel guilty that they're having such a casual conversation and that they're already possibly forgetting about Abraham. Um, uh, so the next morning comes along and we see that the group is getting ready to leave. They're getting ready, packing up the van, going to the hilltop to complete their overnight mission. Um, and everyone's getting ready to leave and Andrea and Rick give a hug and kiss and say bye bye sweet pie, see you later. And uh, we can see that Angier is left to be in charge. She was told by Rick the night before that she needs to watch the community. Just in case an attack happens, she feels that they need some kind of muscle, some, something to protect the place and someone to be in charge. As they close the gates for the last time before they leave, we see she looks through the bars and they're driving away and we can see that Rick is looking away right here and he's just he just says something wrong and he just I think he has this feeling 
of something is but then he just goes he just says it's like no it's nothing so I think he has an intuition but something is not right you know and he just kind of ignores it and the next thing we see on the last page is Negan's men just hiding out getting ready to attack and it's not just the three of these guys in the last page he goes send word to Negan report to everyone at their posts tell them to get in position we attack at dawn and that's when you know Rick and the group are supposed to come back is the next day and it looks like they're gonna attack in the morning so there must be a lot of people and earlier in the issue Rick makes this point and he says you know what I don't think they're gonna attack we hit them hard they lost a lot of men how many people can recover or they need time to attack well obviously Rick was wrong and also I would have not left the community fresh off of an attack either that's my personal opinion so I think Rick here um, makes a wrong decision um, by far um, by leaving the group so early right after the attack and so you know such a fresh loss of Abraham um, I mean I understand his reasoning he doesn't think they're gonna attack right away but he underestimates their numbers and their numbers seem to be strong because there's gonna be people at many posts um, again great setup issue um, I have a feeling someone's going to die in the next issue. It's kind of making it obvious that it's Andrea. Uh, just setting up how they have this relationship together. Um, how they're, you know, they're going to live together now. And Rick made this thing, like how everyone he got close to dies. And um, it could be Andrea, but that I think is the obvious choice after reading this issue. So it just might not be her could be somebody else what do you guys think what are your thoughts on this issue um should have rick left you know uh are you happy that glenn is leaving well we'll find out and we'll see i have a feeling that glenn's not going to be leaving permanently so uh issue number 100 i think shit's going to hit the fan guys all right so give me your thoughts and your opinions on this particular issue of the walking dead and that's all I have for you today. So until the next comic book review, guys, thanks for watching Comic Book Corner. This is Spider Slayer signing off. Peace.